As part of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, we're putting the spotlight on a community that will soon officially be known as Little Manila. CBS 2's Leah Mishkin tells us why from Woodside, Queens tonight. That history is very much alive. I believe that so, so deeply. Tucked underneath the subway between 69th and 70th Street on Roosevelt Avenue is the block in New York City that has historically had the highest concentration of Filipino businesses. It came about, I think, in relationship to the 1965 immigration change as well as the nursing labor shortage here in the United States where um, Filipino nurses like my mother um, came to the U.S. To, to be a nurse. Artist Zenia Diente says many of the nurses from the Philippines who got recruited to work at Elmhurst Hospital relocated to the area. One of those neighborhoods, Woodside, Queens. So they provided um, restaurants for more Filipino Americans. Diente's parents bought their first home just a few blocks from here in 1976. It's where she lives today. If you want a, a hot breakfast, um, it's anything with the word silog, gar garlic rice with uh, egg and a side of a protein. This street also has businesses that help people send packages to the Philippines and there's a national bank. We help each other in order for us to survive, especially during the time of pandemic. Filipino restaurant Cucina Pinoy Bistro opened in 2019. The owner told us he knew he wanted his business right here. And the footprints of the Filipinos are here. And now it'll be formally recognized as such. A new street sign will soon go near the oldest Filipino business in the area. A grocery store established in 1976, Little Manila Avenue. We have that small dot in the map that says Little Manila, yeah. and that is something for us. Zenia Diente and her community art collective painted this mural on the other side of the block. It says, welcome. In Woodside, Queens, Leah Mishkin, CBS 2 News. Another reason to love this city. Absolutely. So rich.